Hi everyone, Holly Wood, Product Manager at Cold SE. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to print two Mylar balloons using our digital heat effects printers. And the products here that we will be using today, I have picked up some Mylar balloons from Dollar Tree and we'll also be using our Forever Laser Dark transfer paper. Let's get started. So our first step, I've already loaded the design into our print optimizer software. So I'm just printing and today I'll be using Forever Laser Dark Paper. And the reason for that is it can be applied at a very low heat. And this product can be found on ColemanandCompany.com. So now my design is printed. I'm gonna put it into my heat press, face down with the glue sheet or B sheet on top cover with parchment and for this paper we're going to press at 310 for 120 seconds please make sure that you check your directions as directions can vary from different types of papers so once time is up I'm just going to remove my parchment peel immediately keeping it on the platen in a slow fluid motion Now we are ready to trim it up and put it on our balloon. So I've laid out a little variety for you here just to show you some exa examples of what you can do. If you have smaller images, I can get multiple images on a sheet or I can use the full sheet. I've also used the metallic paper here. On ColemanandCompany.com, there are I think about six or seven different colors of metallics. You also have four neons and those will pull the color from the sheet. So you can have metallic looking balloons that look awesome. And if you want to go bigger, the 9541 can print on the 13 by 19. So all of these can be created with any of our digital heat effects printers. Okay, I've already married my paper and my designs are ready to press. We're going to pre-press on a very light pressure. You also want to make sure there's a tab that goes all the way up into the balloon. You want to make sure that that's off of your press so that you'll be able to blow it up. So I'm just going to pre-press for two seconds at a very light pressure. And then pop out and just put on my design. I am at 215. These balloons came from Dollar Tree and we've learned 15 seconds is plenty for those but if you have a more expensive balloon like the ones from Party City actually took 30 seconds so you're Press times may vary a little bit, so if it's not peeling off the paper or peeling off the balloon, try to press it just a little bit longer and find out what works best for the balloon that you purchased. So I've already put these aside. They are cooled completely, so now they're ready to just peel off and I'm just gonna roll off the transfer. Now I'm just gonna put it back into the press for a quick five seconds, five to 10, just to give it a matte finish and make sure everything adhered properly. Now our balloon is ready for air. Customized balloons are a fun way to spice up any event. A quick online search saw that these retail for anywhere from 15 to $25. Check out our videos for more ways to customize balloons. Thank you for watching today.